right, folks, welcome back. This is She Broke Smoky, as always. And I'm trying something new with the audio. I've got a, what I hope will be mitigation of the background noise, but I guess we're going to see. And I do have a very interesting topic for today. What I want to talk about is something I've done in the past video. Uh, and it's a very interesting twist on this. And in the previous video I asked, how will governments, ultimately a planetary government, explain the rapture? I've made no bones about the fact that I am a conservative Christian, Southern Baptist, and I believe very firmly that the believers, the body of Christ, will be removed from the planet prior to the Great Tribulation, which will last about seven years. A uh, little bit more because there's going to be a time between the rapture and when the One World Government will sign the seven-year peace treaty with Israel. So, basically seven years. But, the reason I believe this is that in the Revelation it says that the Comforter, God's Spirit, will be removed from the planet. Christ himself said, I will never leave you or forsake you. With the triumphant deity, God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, they are the same being in just different roles. So if the Spirit is removed from the planet, the leaders would go with it, with God the Spirit. So, what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing suggests that we are going to go at least in part, in pieces, toward a full lockdown. The likes of which we've not seen before. We've seen some pretty draconian rules. And of course those, those imposing them don't follow them. Whitmer herself said that no one is allowed to go boating on Memorial Day, yet she went boating. New Mexico's governor closed down all retail, but forced a jewelry store to open for her. Cuomo still goes to the gym while New Yorkers are not allowed to. All of these things are proof that we live in a rules for thee, not for me society. Now, of course, we've known this for quite a while. Uh, we see it regularly from Democrats politicians. Michelle Obama all but ruled on her own, although she did have Barack do it, on the school lunch program, which led to students not even eating school lunches. And she was traveling and eating lobster and steak and anything else she wanted. AOC all but screams the world is required to go vegan while she goes out and is not vegan. Her boyfriend, or whoever was with her, eating a burger. And then, of course, she gets just so royally mad that anyone would dare follow her and video her. When people say, well, you're a politician, you are a public figure, people are going to know, want to know what's going on with you, she says that, well, that shouldn't happen. Admitting, I am allowed to rule you, and you're not allowed to even suggest that I don't follow these rules. Well, right now, in California, it has been ruled that church services may not happen. Jack Hibbs has said his church will not close. If they chain the doors, which is unlawful, they'll hold services outside. But it goes a step further because, and I've got to find a source on this, and I will before posting this, I've also heard that in-home Bible study has been outlawed. This is quite literally Nebuchadnezzar and Daniel. Nebuchadnezzar decreed that you would not worship any deity, you would worship him. You would not bow or pray to anyone but him. Daniel refused to and was thrown to the lions and was spared by God, ultimately proving to Nebuchadnezzar that God is in control. Well, Garcetti or Newsom or both have decreed you will not worship. You will not study the Bible. They've also had the Ninth Circus rule that during times of crisis, 
during times of emergency, constitutional rights will be stripped away. That's not true. It's not correct in any way. During times of active sedition, the writ of habeas corpus may be, may be suspended. Basically, the Civil War proved that there needs to be a time when those acting to disrupt the country, to cause chaos, need to be able to just be arrested and held and then tried by a military tribunal. But that doesn't mean you can say you have no First Amendment right. We're going to take your guns. You, no law issue. And this needs to be challenged all the way to the Supreme Court. And I, I think the best way to get them to reverse, though, would be for President Trump to say, based on the Ninth Circuit Court's ruling, you no longer have the right to a speedy trial or a trial by jury. You no longer have Miranda rights. We're just going to roll in and we're going to arrest everyone who is rioting. You have no right to protest. We're going to arrest that. Now, of course, we all know this is a load of bull. The Constitution very clearly lays out the only valid process to change the Constitution. That is an amendment, either introduced in one House of Congress, passed by two-thirds of each House, ratified by three quarters of the state, or two-thirds of the states call for an Article 5 convention. Amendments are debated, passed by two-thirds of the body, and then passed to the states where three quarters of the states must ratify. Anything else is unlawful and, and invalid. But you see, these liberal politicians don't care. They've had decades to get their own people into place on the federal bench, and these people are beholden to the Democrats because they are low-life criminals. I don't even know how many federal judges are likely to be exposed as having vacationed on the Lolita Express to Epstein Island. And when they're proven to have done this, you'll hear them screaming that they have that was entrapment and they can't use it and you just bow. But this lockdown, for those of you who have seen the movie and read the books Left Behind, there's also a good series on uh, Pure Flix that covers the, the rapture. In those, it was just normal day. We open up with an airliner where the stewardess gets the captain and says there are just people missing and their clothes are, are in their seats. Cars are all, all of a sudden not, don't have a driver. Planes fall from the sky. Trains blow through stations because people have vanished. But with this lockdown, which if it goes full draconian as people are thinking it will, it will be you may not leave your home for any reason. You will order your groceries and we will deliver them. You will not leave your home. Then the rapture happens and no planes fall from the sky, no helicopters fall, no cars crash into people, no trains blow through. The world doesn't know it happened. The government will know. And then you'll hear we were called for a wellness check on this family. We found them so desperately ill and dying that we couldn't even enter the house. We had to enter in hazmat gear and they were already dead and the infection was so bad we had to cremate. Here are the ashes. You have no way to prove them wrong. If they can hide as much as they've hidden it's not a stretch. You know, no one but God knows the day or the hour. But they know it hasn't happened yet. So, if they could force the world to never step outside their home, so that no one who is outside the home would see them vanish in the rapture. Now, there will be families who have members who see it. I mean, there will be people who are not Christians, who live with Christians, and will see them just gone. 
they will be either silenced, paid off, vanished to a prison, or just killed. So that the only story is the government's lie. It's definitely a twist I've not thought of. But with California's decree that churches will close and in-home Bible study is outlawed, this is a blatant, you will give up your faith order. And it will not end well for them. Anyone who says, okay, fine, is not a Christian. Anyone who says, no, we will not comply, will be vanished into the California penal system. They've got empty cells. They let murderers, rapists, and thugs go because of coronavirus. But they won't care about the Christians who dare gather and study their Bible. I really hope it doesn't come to that. While there is nothing that I can even think of that would compare to the glory of, the, of heaven, to a life in the new heaven, a new earth, I still don't want to see those who don't know God left to a world run by tyrants who are being controlled by Satan. And it seems we're steamrolling toward that society. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Now, I can't tell you. This video actually is split. I found out that Duet, or not Duet, Debut is not free. But as I found out from a past video, I don't think it was OBS that was causing the audio problems. I can hear in my voice uh, a crack, a scratchy bit. And I know that right now that is out. It's been outside quite a bit today. I'm actually getting a new refrigerator to, uh, later on today. Well, new to me. Uh, my parents have, they got a new refrigerator not long ago. Kept their old one to be their drink fridge. But it's about to die. They found one for $75. It's very nice, but it's really too nice to use as a drink fridge. I have an apartment fridge. And they could easily use the freezer for, you know, tortillas, pizzas, pizza rolls, hot pockets, little things like that, that they need to be able to get you quick, use the deep freeze for other things. And then I can, they're going to let me have the new, the new us one. So I've been doing a lot of that, moving it around, getting it cleaned off outside, so I've been out in the elements. So I know that's a lot of the scratch you hear right now. I can tell you that, one, uh, I took a NyQuil the other day and just slept until I woke up, which solved several things. I was having problems with my allergies and just sleeping for about 12 hours greatly helped. But also, I'm switching out from Zyrtec back to Allegra. I have found that as I pretty much am on 24-7, I build up a tolerance. So I'm hoping that plus more moderate temperatures, and of course, I'm inside 20 hours a day on average, uh, or less, or more, uh, I mean, I'm outside, what, 16 hours a week, so that's a little over two hours a day that I'm not inside on average. So I'm hoping that will help, the air conditioner is definitely helping, and I'm hoping that that will mean I'm able to get back to normal production and normal schedule and not have to worry about changing softwares. I am looking at them because while I am a history geek, I also am a tech geek. I love just working with new programs, learning them, taking Code Academy for a couple new languages. So you, you still may notice changes, but I, I'm hoping I don't have to at any point. It's more of I just want to upgrade for more features. I'd love to be able to actually learn how to create an intro and how to do other things like that. We'll see. Let me know what you think though in the comments. As always, be civil.
you know what, if Newsom or Garcetti or any of the others show up, I'll give as good as I get. I just won't be vulgar. Do the same with them, but with us, be civil. We are logical adults. We can discuss dissent and debate without reverting to the mental toddlers that most of the Democrats in office are. Remember, please, to like and share the video. That will affect the algorithm, and it will widen out the reach of the channel by inviting new people in. And I do love to get new people because the more points of view that are discussed and put out there, the more we have to think about things. Finally, please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. So like this video, all the unscheduled stuff you'll be aware of. You'll also then be part of the giveaway and 500,000 1,500 subscribers. Until next time, have a wonderful day.